All right, let's get started. Employee 0005229. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the Charon family. Downloading the daily departed from the digital divine blah blah blah. Sorry, head office insists on the wordplay. They set you up with one hell of a first client to play ferryman for. George Dunbar. Founding investor. One of the first recordings we made. As you might imagine, a real antique and real shit code. We've tried a couple of times to get him going, but he always glitches into a sequence loop. Lost cause, but legal says we've got to keep trying until we succeed. Otherwise, technically, we're just euthanizing him. You pulled short straw for the annual attempt. Obviously, very old school interface. Once you're out of here, you've got to navigate an anima maze got to track down four core memory pustules, represented visually as bright coloured keys. Collecting them will trigger an auditory scan of the memory core. Now that's important because they're also not labelled, meaning you got to work out which core is which and then manually insert each of them into the correct port. In case your basic training didn't drill it in enough, Charon stores human consciousness in four cores. Despair, baseline trauma, ambition, motivation as trauma response, invention, self actualization by material works and core ideology, and of course, delicate memory. I know you've already signed the NDAs, but the central characteristic of delicate memory causes they're immensely private, typically repressed memories. Discretion is central to the Charon project, so just be professional. Now, when you collect these keys, you'll get an alert telling you which number between 1 and 4 you need to press on your keyboard to replay the audio and equip the key for insertion. And make sure you listen carefully. You put the wrong key in the wrong port three times, you cause a complete system crash and embarrass yourself on your first day. The memory core ports are in the next room next to the door that leads to the reconstructed consciousness of the client. Find all the keys, insert them into the correct ports and the door opens and you're done for the day. Good luck, rookie. And advertising rewards what matters. Impact. How many people can you coerce into a specific action? It is magic. I have an idea. Make being advertised too addictive. Maximum engagement and profit. It was a sensation. Consumer advocacy groups were horrified, but why well, aren't they? Add loot box systems to your e-commerce website. Your controversial worker engagement methodology has drawn outcry from advocacy groups. What doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Utilizing algorithmic technology. An employee. Beast efficiency. Immediate 
curated break with an engaging variety of short games. That's not even the best part, Lacey. In or lose, they're presented with a safe medical amphetamine. Orchid Limited does not discriminate. Where did the service come from? Service was my way to give back. A wholly virtual learning environment that's also the best shooter on the market. Lacey, if that theory held any water, you'd be interviewing a monster right now. <laughs> we can't save everyone. The service, my masterpiece, by the labor of prisoners and climate refugees. Exploitation, a horrible, a horrible word. I prefer transactional. I, I help people in bad situations while giving them hands-on experience in an ever-emerging field. Officially crediting them was out of the question. It would undermine everything the service stood for. How things are for, for those people. And advertising. Mother won't get out of bed. We are priced out of my childhood home in a small room. I'm scared all the time. Cold crescent wires, holistic mind recording, will preserve all that I am. Existence must pers And? Mother won't get out of bed. We are priced out of my childhood home. In a small room. I'm scared. All the time. Cold crescent wires. Holistic mind recording. Will preserve all that I am. Existence must persist. I refuse to cede it to children. That they will squander all that we have built for them. Father and the social workers laugh at me. They tell me I am too stupid to understand. They tell me I am making it all. Out won't talk to me anymore. She thinks I'm insane. She's insane. They're all insane. Out on the street, celebrating these assassinations. They think it's justice. Some sort of sick retribution for the heat waves. Oh, I bet Scout's out there with them. She thinks she's doing something meaningful. I can't bear it. I'm at six form and it's happening again. They say I'm violent. They are lying. I cry all the time. I want to die. I don't have spite. I know it would only get them on TV. I've always believed in technology. I can't help but fear its failure. I won't take any chances. This is all there is. We move. Scout, my dog, to 
did not do well. This place is making her sick. She dies a long death. I cry all the time. I spend most of my time in memory now. I wish Scout was here. I want someone to hold my hand. His hand on my naked back drifts down. He smiles at me. I am in hell. I have never left. Are you angry with me, Scout? Are you gonna make me say it? You need to apologize to me. Dad, you hit me last night. Scouty, I am not the kind of father who hits their children. I may have brushed you. Dad, please stop. I was there. Will you please just listen? Is that what? Dad? Dad? Where are you going? Answer me! Is that what happened? <laughs> Agent Monaghan, would you please help Mr. Dunbar clean himself up? I swear I didn't know she was that young. Mr. Dunbar, please. We recorded the whole thing. It's called Leverage. You told us you and your team at Orchid Limited had new ideas that could help us maintain order. And we want to believe you. But we believe in maintaining internal order first. This is a good thing. Now, we do the good work. We make Orchid Limited a household name, and we put all of your fresh ideas to the test. Your pitch on improving worker retention with amphetamines and gamification inspired. Your concept for digital juvenile conditioning, brave. And we're going to need bravery to protect our way of life. We have high, high hopes. George Dunbar, self-described digital pioneer. It's a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure to be here. We'd dined at Davos, and by 33, I was a household name. Work was the only thing that could set me free. The market that rewarded me. No more wasting time being a clown for my friends. I remember. In my youth, sincerely wishing these people success. I can't imagine that now. I'd thought success would bring me peace. But I'm still so angry. Artistic failures and homelessness. That was my early twenties. Judged as a parasite in charity case or a pet. No. I would not end my life as that. I would prove to them all that I was a winner. Mmm. George, thank you for being such an open book. If you don't mind, I was hoping we could get into your background. Of course. Well, I read that you grew up in a council flat. I did. You really don't come across like someone who grew up in a council flat. 
No, I don't. I've had to do a lot of work on myself, and looking back... Well, just between me and you, Lacey, I always knew I was different. Are you angry with me, Scout? Are you gonna make me say it? You need to apologize to me. And? Advertising rewards what matters. Impact. How many people can you coerce into a specific action? Mother won't get out of bed. We are priced out of my childhood home in a small room. I'm scared all the time. Cold. This is it. I was, I was just in, I was just in the clinic. They, they were telling me to think, for continuity. They, they said I was a pioneer. Does feeling come back? It doesn't. I know it doesn't. I, thought. And the answer was there, in my head. That's how this works. How, how long has it been? Oh, God. That, no. The, the scout. I'm, I'm sorry. There's been a mistake. I... I left specific instructions. I I needed to be to be brought back immediately. I I need I'm sorry, I need to speak to your superior someone. Someone needs to explain. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, my little girl. <sighs> This was supposed to give me time, and now my, and now, and now she's gone. Oh my God! And I, I know how she died. I don't, I don't want to know that. How, how do I stop that knowing that? I, oh God, please, please stop it. I, I, I never, I'll never, I. <laughs> You, you did this. Don't you know who I am? God. I'm the only one left. Please, please, there must. It's been, it's been so long. Must be some way to bring her back. Damn it. Oh, no, not that. I, oh, no, no more, no more answers. I, I, I it's, it's too much. I, I, I don't, I don't want to know anymore. I, 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 please make it stop. Please. Oh, help, help me. Why? Why won't you help me? Oh God! 
please, 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 I, 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 I can't breathe, I, I need to breathe, I, I need to get out, please, let me out! <laughs> Thank you. 